to introduce to you another technique that we're going to come across sometimes. It's called factor by grouping. Now, right now, we've already grouped the term, so I want you to get used to what's common in both of those terms. Notice what's common here is group. X plus 3 is common to both of those terms in this first illustration. So that being the case then, I'm going to factor out that common term. That's my greatest common factor between both of those. I'm going to pop that out as a whole, an x plus a 3, and then what's left? An x squared plus a 5 is left. Now I can verify this by multiplying this through, and I'll get that result. Second example, same thing. I've already grouped the terms, so I want you to see what's common to both of those. And you see that x plus 1 is a common factor in both of those terms. So what I'll do is I'll factor that out, the entire y plus 1, and then look to see what remains. An x is left, and a negative 2 is left. And so there's my factored version of this particular um, problem right here.